Well, Paul, bitterly disappointing uh, in result. We've spent over the last 15 minutes looking at two major incidents of, on video. Um, what's your take on them, having looked at them several times? Well, you've just seen him as well, and um, we should have had a penalty through Billy Medlock, in my opinion, and uh, there has never been a penalty uh, that should have been given to them in the last minute. And you know, Having watched the video in slow motion in normal time, um, there was no way that you could have denied either of those actions. And I've been in to see the referee before we watched the video and told him he got it wrong. And I've been into back to see him and told him you can have to watch it in slow motion tonight. And I've told him to go on the Sutton United forum and watch it because he's made two massive calls there and they've both gone against us and it's led to a defeat at home. Which, you know, I feel very disappointed for the players tonight. Um, as I said, I know we're on the right path, so I've got no, you know, I'm, I'm not that disappointed in terms of um, the performance. Um, but we needed a result today, um, and if we had have won, that'd have been nine points from five games. That's what we were emphasising to the lads before. We haven't, so six points from five games is not a good return. But bear in mind, you know, the circumstances of this last month, um, you know, we will just keep going. And uh, as I said, we're, we're, we're actually OK. We're in, a good, we're in a good place. Plenty of spirit, and I thought in particular the first half hour, some really good football. Yeah, listen, that was a really good game on a ridiculously, you know, difficult pitch. Um, now, one of the stands said in the second half, try and pass it more. You know, unfortunately, when the ground digs up and divots up, you can't pass it so well. Um, and I thought, first half in particular, Wishart getting in wide and, and, and uh, Shaquille getting in wide, and we put some good crosses. Cluffy's had a great header saved by their keeper, hasn't he? And, but what, you know, give Hemel some credit. I, I, I like Hemel Hempstead. I think that they've come and, you know, that, that it was a, you have a, an attack. And, yeah. you know, and, and they got forward with numbers. And they got some good players, Jordan Parks in particular. Um, but you know, even their goal—it's it's deflected over the top of the wall. It looks—it looks a worldie. Um, but we've conceded again. I don't remember Alan Julie making more than one save in the whole game. And summed it up for me when Dunn's shot on goal. It was going in. Billy Medlock's hit, hit him on the chest and, and didn't go in. And um, so Ian Baird sort of learning uh, what's happened to us in this last it's, uh, since July. He's learning. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's been difficult and I'm not going to deny that, but as I said, spirit-wise, uh, we all know where we're trying to get to and we'll give it our best shot and, um, you know, as I said, we will be okay this season. You mentioned Alan Julian back in goal today, what was the thinking behind that? Just a, just, a, just a call that I've made, I felt that, you know, I brought Alan Julian to be our number one goalkeeper, he wasn't fit at the start of the season because of his knee, um, you know, it's right. it was right to start with Tom. Um, I still didn't feel Alan's knee was quite right uh, when we gave him a rest and pulled Tom back in. And Alan in training over this last two or three weeks has looked better and better. He's done a lot of strengthening work on his knee. And for me, I just feel that we need a, an experienced goalkeeper. But it sums it up that Thursday we had a Manqua, Clough, Cooper and uh, Hart that was going to be the back four. And then within five minutes of putting that particular session on for shape, we'd lost all, all four of them. Clough played with a strapped up ankle today. Cooper played with a slight hamstring. And Manqua you know, still didn't quite make it. So, you know, we know um, what we're trying to do, we know what we're up against, but it's not an excuse. I think that up to now we've we just braved it out, um, and we'll get on with it. Is it difficult having two goalkeepers of sort of almost equal standard? Very much so. Listen, Tom hasn't again hasn't done a great deal wrong, but then North Allen again today. You know, we conceded two goals at home, which which we haven't been doing. But one's a, one's a brilliant free kick, a blighter deflection, and one's a penalty. Um, you can go back then. You can go back to the Bath game. You know where Bath have scored. Uh, Mickey Spillane's got sent off, it's never been a penalty. We won the appeal and proved that was the case. Um, and it's not only the injuries, it's, we, we are being victim of some baffling, uh, baffling refereeing decisions. But, you know, as I just said to the referee in there, you know, without the referees you don't have a game of football. So we do respect them here, and it was all done relatively okay. But ultimately John Busby's got to look at his performance today, and he has, in fairness. He said to me, I'll look at it, and if he's, he's got it wrong, um, but that doesn't help me tonight. It doesn't help us get three points to go at the table. And now going away to Bromley next week without two two players um, suspended. What was the hopes of others coming back through injury? Well, I've just seen Glenn's foot today, and it's still horrible. It's um, it's swollen. Um, it's got the stitches in still. So I don't know about Glenn. Um, and you know, if there is any good news today, I think everyone else came through. Bar Shaquille, when the lad landed on his knee, he's got a very sore knee. And uh, Darren Wishart came off with a uh, with cramp in his calf. I don't think he's played on a pitch that heavy for some time. And you know, again, uh, could be able to get Kane on the pitch and Jesse. Yeah, after um, and after what happened with Jesse yeah. again, you know, this week, good that he got on the pitch. Good that the crowd gave him that great yeah. reception as well. So that's nice. Mm. Um, and you know that 
for, for everything that's happened this week, including today, that's the best news we had, was that there's nothing wrong with them. And just two players haven't been mentioned much recently, Joker Furr and Nick Bignall. Um, yeah, well, Joker Furr's fallen to the Sutton United curse. Um, you know, three weeks ago, he was just in training, um, literally in the boxes, went to pass the ball and uh, snapped his knee ligaments with no challenge, nothing on him. So he's currently with the PFA, uh, getting his knee re rehabilitated. And Bignall, as I said you know, many times, was, was here. Um, we were helping him in terms of getting his fitness right. And he's gone on, he's not even on loan, he's on a dual registration. He's Hampton's player, but he still trains with us. Mm. And you know, at the end of the day, uh, Billy Medlock's coming. I thought Billy did really well today. Mm. He just needs that first, get that first yeah. goal off his sheet. But you saw a great assist, mm. good goal as well. Yeah. Um, but Billy will score goals, I think, at this level. I haven't watched his movement and his work right, and he's going to get better. So we've got Medlock and, uh, and Dundas and Randolph as, our, as, as the only three strikers at the club. <laughs> Um, and as I said, it's, it's well known that we're trying to bring someone else in, but I'm going to be patient. It, whilst it was still a no Wednesday, I've been told to keep waiting because that other club might find a striker that they want. So we will we'll be patient on that, but you know, you've got a team there that's not too far away. Um, you know, Hemel went to Bromley and won, they went to Bury and played very, very well at Bury, and um, you know, they're improving all the time. But they've, they've gone and got some good loan players in. You know, John Steele doesn't give bad loan players, and um, two of their boys today I thought were really good. Mm. And a repeat of last year at Bromley next week would be quite nice. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I mean, we need you know we need to get moving at some point. Um, thankfully, everyone else seems to be, you know, uh, losing and winning and drawing the same as us. Um, but we we traditionally go on strong runs, don't we, from December through to the end of the season, and uh, it looks like we'll be relying on that again. But as I said many many times, if if we end up in the Conference South and we end up mid table this year, as long as we don't end up, um, I think it's nineteenth this year, isn't it, or twentieth, as long as we don't finish twentieth and we know we can reorganise and get going again for the following season. But that's not an admission that this season's drifting, because it's not. And uh, that will only, you know, that conclusion will come to me more after the end of January. We've got, you know, the, the disappointment for me this year is I don't feel the season's got going whatsoever. No. Um, we don't have any Tuesday night games. We've had one so far, which we won away at Whitehawk. And it's a, it's a ridiculous scenario that from December the 26th to January the 30th, we've got to play 10 games. Now... If we have one of our runs in those ten games, we win eight or nine of the ten, then we're going to be right up there. And that's the key. That's going to be the key month for us is December and January, um, and also the fact the weather. We all think that the weather's going to kick in, and we'll all end up playing fifty-six games in three days again. So, you know, it's it's not a season for me that's ever got moving yet, um, for lots of reasons, mainly the injuries, but also the lack of games. I mean, we've only played fourteen games all season, and you've got other teams in other leagues that haven't played twenty for in the Ryman Premier. So, you know, it's one of those, we don't feel we've managed to um, get any uh, real substance to our season yet, but, you know, we're, we're also very, very sure of, of, of what we're doing, and we won't be far away, I'm convinced of it, come the end of the season. Okay.